Hello and welcome to the January-February edition of the Dog Watch, HMCS Prevo's monthly news report. I'm Sub Lieutenant Julian Budd. And I'm Leading Seaman Andrew Bishop. On January 1st, HMCS Prevo opened its doors to the public for its annual New Year's levy. So Prevo welcomed the community in celebrating New Year's tradition. Prevo welcomed the community in celebrating the start of another new year. This event is a great opportunity to engage with neighbors and educate them about naval traditions such as moose milk, which has served a plenty. The levy also served as a platform to announce advancements being made on the Battle of the Atlantic Memorial Revitalization Project. Recently, ground was broken for the construction of new walkways leading to the memorial. Stay tuned for updates on the Battle of the Atlantic Memorial Revitalization Project, as well as renovations to the historic HMCS Prevo building. On this edition of Fireside Chat, I sat down with Chief Petty Officer Second Class Williamson to discuss the future of the RMS trade. So I hear it uh, means something to you to be back here at Prevo. I know you have a little bit of family history here in London. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, my dad was a CEO of uh, HMC Star in Hamilton, uh, while Prevo was a detachment of uh, Star, so it wasn't its own unit yet. And uh, we would come up here uh, to visit, uh, so I would come up with him. Uh, plus, my wife grew up around the corner, so she spent many a day playing down by the river and, and learning the terrain down there. Very nice. Uh, so, Chief, you're new to the position, new to the unit. Uh, what are some goals? I'd, uh, what I'd like to do is, uh, is start mentoring the master seamen, start building them up, getting them into the Chiefs and P.O.'s mess, and, and getting them towards becoming a coxswain like myself. So I hear you have a secondary duty with Naval Reserve Headquarters as a trade advisor. Yes, I'm the uh, MOS advisor for the RMS clerks. And uh, we're actually one of the busiest trades right now because we're looking at splitting uh, to the financial and administrative sides um, where we used to be uh, many years ago. So we're coming back and we came together and now we're splitting again. So I've been uh, a big part of the, uh, the committees to separate the trades. Chief, do you have any uh, closing remarks you'd like to leave us with there? No, I'm just really happy to be here for this and as well as in moving Prevo forward and, and looking at uh, having all these uh, renovations done to the building. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming in, Chief. It's been a pleasure as always. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Across the river at Budweiser Gardens, London was host to a military tattoo which was conducted by the Royal Marines. Prevo had the auspicious honour to provide a colour guard for the event. Being that the event was conducted by a British regiment, the Prevo Colour Guard carried a Union Jack next to the Canadian flag. The special event marks the first time in decades that a military tattoo was held in London. For those of you that don't know, a tattoo is a performance of music or a display of armed forces. We'd like to give a special thanks to the Royal Marines for inviting us to participate in such a wonderful event. Just three short days later, HMCS Prevo provided a colour guard to the London Knights Canadian Forces Appreciation Game at Budweiser Gardens. Lieutenant Navy Cody Black marched the Colour Guard down the ice into position behind veterans from various military units in London. We here at Prevo appreciate the opportunity to help our local community celebrate our veterans and serving members at home and abroad. And this concludes the January-February edition of The Dog Watch. I'm Leading Seaman Andrew Bishop. And I'm Sub-Lieutenant Julian Budd. Secure the Dog Watch. <laughs>